All right, what's going on YouTube? It is that time again. The first of the month where we get the update on the coffin of Annie Lele's progress. This is progress report seven. And remember, we started counting after Nemle retired from the internet. So <laughs> this is actually, this is like the like 15th of these by now. So let's take a look. July 1st, um, first we're given a couple screenshots. So we have gas stop. It looks kind of like they're in a rural area here. Um, interesting. Gas stop. Want to douse yourself in gasoline and play with the lighter? Yes or yes? Now remember, kids, don't do anything you see in video games, especially the Coffin of Manny and Lele. Then we've got... This looks to be pretty esoteric in design. I want to say this, this is not in reality, but maybe it is. The unreachable stairs taunt you. Mm. So I like the look of this personally. This looks like we're going to be given some more puzzles and perhaps the game is getting a little more video gamey. Then we've got, I'm sure this is the screenshot I'll have to use as the thumbnail to entice the viewers to click. Ashley and Andrew clearly in high school. Help me, oh handsome prince. I'm a parched poor maiden in distress. Now this is consistent with the characterization of Ashley as always being quite thirsty. A parched maiden indeed. Then we have, now this one looks very consistent with the more whimsical setting of Nemle's other games. If you were, ugh, should I say privileged enough to have played those before they were scrubbed from the internet? The art style is, is kind of much more fantastical in nature. So I'm interested to see where this is going. So it's actually looking at the bed of what and where? We don't know. But she's saying, oh my. And who is this handsome fellow? Huh, what could that mean? But something to note, I'm pretty sure that purple and yellow, that's like the brightest color in this entire game. Okay, so let's read the update. I don't think it's too much today. So thanks for all the feedback for the episode two bad endings. Well, it appears the A's have it. A lot of fair points are raised by many for and against it. So what is this talking about? Believe it or not, I missed this too. But sometimes in the, sometime in the middle of the month, um, there was a video posted. And it was basically just asking the players of the Coffin and Annie Lele, would you like to see this extra content? Cut it or keep it? And then the video in question, uh, we don't really need to watch the whole thing. You guys can go to the official Kit9 Studio page. And it is sort of an alternate scenario where if the, the pivotal scene in episode two, if Andrew had chosen slightly different, what would happen? Because... I guess <laughs> some people thought it was unclear. There was a little too much subtext with how the mother really thought of Andrew and Ashley. Basically, it's it's spelling it out for you. She did hire some sort of service. It's still unclear to get rid of these two. And we have a uh, perhaps a a rude depiction of Andrew's intellectual abilities if he chooses to indeed believe the mother and take her at face value and be like, oh, okay, I forgive you. And the scenario plays out, and of course, it's sort of a premature bad end for the two. <laughs> They'll end up dying. Now, um, I guess this was put in the game to just like really, really spell it out. The parents were bad news. There is no, there's no way to reconcile between them, right? So it was put up to the Steam community, do we want to keep it or or leave it? And it was overwhelmingly voted by the Steam community, which who knows if you guys are a part of. But it was over overwhelmingly voted that this would be in the game. So the new thing that's going to be added is additional endings such as these were never intended to replace any existing content. There's going to be fun bonus. Um, and then it turns out there are already plans for a game feature that provides unlockable bonus content. It's something that will start becoming accessible in the next major release, and these endings will get moved there. So, basically moving forward in the future, there's going to be unlockable stuff. Who knows what that might be, but we know at least one of those things is an alternate ending that just happens prematurely in episode two. So don't forget that last update, we learned that this, it's going to be four episodes in length now. We always knew it was going to be four episodes total with, you know, episodes one, two, and then the two alternates for the third episode. But now we know there's a fourth episode after that. So I'm kind of excited to see what the bonus content is going to be, where it's going to be placed. I think it's exciting based on the stuff we've seen. The game, I would have to say it's getting more fantastical in nature. 
it looks like there's going to be more puzzles, more gamey type stuff, instead of just being strictly visual novel. I think it's all good. I'm excited. Of course, there is no reference to a release date, so this game is never going to come out. But when it does, I'm sure it'll be fun. Anyway, there's also one more thing. Um, they're doing technical work on a translation tool. That's really important for all the people who don't speak English but want to play the game. Anyway, I think that's all for today. Doom Profit out. I will see you guys later. And don't forget, the end is nigh.